Hi everyone, this is Dan, and this is uh, the New Mutants Classic, uh, Volume 3, uh, with, uh, written by Chris Claremont, with art from Bill Sienkiewicz. And the, the title of the video is New Mutants Number 18, which is the first issue you uh, see when you open this puppy up. And I want to talk about this one because uh, this is, I mean, probably one of the most famous issues of the New Mutants, but honestly, it's the first issue with Bill Sienkiewicz, and... Uh, yeah, I recognize uh, this guy kind of went on a freaking psycho tirade uh, politically the last couple, uh, I guess, years or so. And uh, I by no means agree with him politically, but I will have to say his art is f amazing. <laughs> Not gonna lie, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta take, tip your hat to this guy. It's pretty freaking impressive art. Uh, anyhow, so we start this, uh, this issue out with Dan Danny Moonstar underneath her, her bed sheet. Uh, with this really cool sort of I don't know what this is called when they when they do little like it's a pixelation art of the of the demon bear that's after her he's out there the demon bear that murdered my parents really really cool so we get it uh, earlier in the new moons run we get an explanation that there, this demon bear had killed her parents and it had always been kind of chasing after her then we kind of we flip over to a totally different story uh, this is a recap a flashback of, of Rachel Summers uh our future where uh the x-men and everyone else are pretty much uh all killed and the world is conquered by sentinels and here you have uh professor xavier ask telling the army to cease fire that they surrender not only to get uh, blasted <laughs> anyhow she gets over she's now uh she's used her powers to go into the past and she's going to go see professor xavier uh Meanwhile, the new mutants are inside exercising. And in this case, this is a more physical exercise. So it's Cannonball, Magma, and Sunspot fighting it out. And uh, Danny Moonstar and, uh, and uh, Ileana are just uh, monitoring right now. I'm going to skip a couple pages. So they clear the mission. They have a couple little uh, fun moments in there. Meanwhile, Rachel comes in to, to, or knocks the, the door and she opens up to see Ileana but Ileana is the completely the wrong age that she remembered this is kind of like uh, sort of a, an interesting or I mean it's a common trope in time that people go back in time and find out that the, the timeline is different but uh, it, anyhow we jump into a totally another different totally story I forgot how packed this issue is <laughs> This one is Warlock, or the introduction of Warlock, the first introduction of Warlock. So we see this sort of mecha mechanized Tron-looking dude <laughs> on a planet uh, trying to survive. And uh, suddenly his dad pops up, eats his son, uh, Dark Phoenix style, and then chucks the other half of the sun <laughs> at his son. <laughs> and uh, Warlock's got to bounce. And you get uh, a quick little teaser of what Warlock is about, his situation, and all the other stuff without, you know, 100% explaining it, uh, which will be answered in another issue. I actually, like, in the beginning, I always thought this was super confusing, and then I got it later when I read the, read the previous issues. I do think, like, this one page needs a little bit of extra editing to kind of explain what the hell is going on, uh, but that's just my one complaint. Uh, anyhow, so we get back into the danger room, and now Danny's in the danger room, but she's practicing against bears. And, uh, you know, she clears the exercise uh, with her Skyrim sneak skill at maximum. <laughs> I like how this looks exactly like your character would if it was, like, sneaking with a bow in Skyrim. <laughs> and Ileana kind of confronts her after she clears the exercise, like, okay, what, what is up with you? Why are you fighting bears in the danger room? And Danny's at the point where she doesn't want to really open up, and you could tell Ileana's not particularly happy that uh, she just wanted to tell her what's going on. And uh, you get back to here, Danny kind of is go in her monologuing about why she can't really go and, and trust her fellow New Mutant teammates to help her, and why she has to go confront this bear herself, which she does. She goes out and uh, out into the snow and calls him out, and uh, <laughs> yeah, he shows up. <laughs> Man, I don't know what you, I mean, I, like, I fully agree that Bill Sienkiewicz is a bit of a, he's got some serious Trump derangement syndrome, but, uh, this panel right here, I'm not gonna lie, is pretty freaking, pretty freaking epic. That's, that gets you, like, hype, like, holy crap, how the hell is Danny gonna beat this thing? 
So she uses her mutant power to bring out the uh, hit the bear's greatest fear. It turns out to be herself, which kind of shocks her. And then the fight begins. She gets the first blow. The bear knocks her bow away, smacks her around like a rag doll. He's about to ready to like break her back, and she pulls out an arrow from her quiver and freaking stabs him in the nose. This kind of well, I mean, this panel right here probably could have done better, but it's still cool. She runs off, and this is this is a freaking sweet panel. I, I like the way this looks. Uh, she shoots him right through the through the brains right here, and she I, I love this right here. She goes and she congratulates like, oh my god, I, I did it, I beat it, I beat this thing, I finally avenged my parents. And then the last panel you see is the bear's eyes opening, and then this is the best part right here. Uh, uh, Ron just wakes up screaming, yells at all the other new mutants. We gotta get it going. We gotta get going. She's in trouble. Uh, she has a psychic rapport with with Danny, and they call all come running out. And I, <laughs> I like how Sam has a freaking he has a rifle. He has he's cannonball powers, but of uh, like f this, I need to bring a gun. <laughs> and this panel right here is is just so good. You can see like their faces, just the utter shock in their eyes at what they're seeing. Except for Ileana, she's just sad. And I think it's because she knew that this was going to happen. And then you get the conclusion right here. Danny is dead. And they're, they're sitting there, Ron's crying, and they're just stunned. And if you want to see the resolution of this, you got to go read the next uh, or read the next issue of 19. This is like, like freaking masterful, just not only fantastic art, but also just... Fantastic writing and art combined to make just one really good single issue. And, you know, whatever you think about this dude, I, I know I don't I don't really give a crap. I like Chris Claremont, period, but you gotta you gotta give it to him that this is an amazing issue. And uh, it is unfortunate. Like I did read uh, and I probably will do a review on, on their one shot that they did a while back, World Ch World uh, or War Child, I should say. But uh, this run with Chris Claremont and Bill Sienkiewicz is is pretty freaking amazing. And it's kind of, I mean, the New Mutants were already pretty good before this, but it really made the New Mutants amazing back in the days. Or at least uh, at least as far as I was concerned, looking at it, like looking at their sales too. Like I think the New Mutants were selling crazy too. Uh, but anyhow, uh, I just wanted to end it there. I just wanted to share this. I thought this was just a freaking amazing issue. Uh, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, uh, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. And if you got any comments on uh, New Mutants, the Demon Bear Saga, Chris Claremont, or Bilson Kevich, uh, go ahead and drop it below. And uh, I will see you next time.